and the next thing that we are going to see is how we can provide a multiple multiple binding of a same type which basically means like when you are using a hit and want to provide a different implementation of the same type of the dependencies uh, we must make use of our multiple binding uh, here what uh, actually it means is that let's say you have our uh, dependencies of the same type uh, let's say uh, encrypt uh, sorry a set preferences and the set preference can have an encrypted set preference and a normal set preference so here the dependency is of the set preferences but the implementation for the encrypted set preference is different and the normal set preferences is different so here when we want to provide a same type because the yield and the dagger basically sees only the written type of the particular function so whenever we are creating a uh, provide at provided annotation function it looks at the written type what is the written type for that particular function and based on that it will create an object and provide a dependency but here we need to provide a shared preferences of encrypted as well as a non-encrypted shared preference but the the type written type is of the same so how the hilt or the dagger is going to know which one to provide because it only looks at the written type both of the function written type is same but the implementation is of different so it doesn't know how to provide a dependency in this case we need to use a qualifier and qualifier is an annotation that you can use to identify a specific binding for the type that that the that you can use for the multiple binding so let's go and make use of a qualifier and create uh, some kind of qualifier and make use for our application so let's go back over here and go to module and create a new package over here and uh, not a package i think i will create a new new object so let me create a new object of the kotlin type and just name it as a application module and when we have a module i need to end it with a module over here and then also i'll just install in so i need to install in so this, since this is an application module let me install in the, as a single tone component which has a life cycle of the application so this is a single tone and this one each of so one is singleton and one is the activity component this has a life cycle of the activity and this has the life cycle of the application as long as our application lives this is going to live for us so this is a singleton and the next thing is that we need to provide uh, uh, provide at provide annotation and then we need to provide sorry function over here and then we provide let us provide uh, something a string type data data database name over here and the written type is of the string over here and this should return some string right so i'll just say uh, local dot dv so this is a database name and also i'll create another at provide that provides function over here and provide in PROV I provide a uh, let's say a uh, API key and this is also written type is of the string so now we have a two function that is providing a written type as a string and it will provide a dependency of the string so written let's say we have some random number over here and that's just uh, we got some uh, API key so let's say we have this to function that is written type is of the string and let us make use of this database name and api key in our repository so in the car repository let us add the dependency over here so private uh, val let's say this is of a data base name and this is a type of the string right and then another one we have a private val and api key over here and the type is of the string too so we have uh, two constructor dependency one is of the database name and the api key 
let us go down and create a function so the private let's create a function over here and just say uh, get the database name and the return type is of the string and then we'll just uh, return uh, we want to return the database name right and then another one each of function that we can create and get the api key over here api so it should be of api key that we are getting and return type each of the string too and here we'll just uh, return the api key that we get okay so now we have this one and now we have to we have provided over here and then we need to go over here and here we need to provide that so i need to have this particular two database name and the api key over here so in the cons uh, this provide this function takes the parameter of the database data database name which is of the service uh, type is of the string and another one is the api api key right this is also of the type of the string now we have a type of the string database name and api key now i can just pass it over here as the database name and the api key now if you think that this is the same type and here we are providing the same type and now here we are providing a database name and api key now if we are injecting over there and if i go and from where we have a car repository and i think we are making use of that one in the car somewhere no not here so where i'm actually using this car repository i think i haven't used it anywhere haven't make it use your car repository and in the car function implementation you can just call it or just leave it as it is uh, let's not bother about it first of all we want to make sure that everything is working over here so if i try to run my application and it will give us an error so the error you can see that we have a public abstract, uh, abstract static class singletoncy implement my application and provide the which is providing at provide a string right and yes yeah, so this is basically is saying us that we are providing a string and it's not able to provide a dependency so we are not able to inject our dependency so how can we do that one is uh let me close all of those and now i need to create a uh, one qualifier over here so i think i'll create a new package over here and i'll just give it as a q u a l i f r e r qualifier and inside this qualifier package i'll create a annotation yeah and then let's call it as a database name and uh, here we need to provide that particular annotation so over here i need a qualifier i need to create a qua qualifier and then i need to add a retention policy so the retention is of the annotation rotation and let's make use of a we have a binary source and the runtime through retention so I, you can just make use of a binary and if you want to read more about this you can just go and say that annotation isn't stored in the binary output and the annotation is stored in the binary output but invisible to retention so we are actually saying that store this annotation to the binary compile or the binary code and this is only in the source we are which is only available on our source code not in the binary output but if we said that this one has the reten retention to our binary which means that after we source code when the binary code is generated it is also available over there so we set it as a binary and then we need another one so i'll just go and create the another annotation over here and call it as a let's say api uh, api api key right okay so we got the api key and same thing that we have to do at the uh, qualifier over here 
and then also at the retention over here and in retention and the annotation we have to set it as a binary or any other that you prefer so now we have a two qualifier over here now i can go to my repository over here and i can add that particular qualifier add the database qualifier and here we need add the api key qualifier and also i need to go to the application module now and here i need to enter it with the add the database name and add the api key annotation over here and similarly i need to i have added over here and i have added over here and also i need to add it over here so this also need to provide over here so if you want to take a look just try to run it and you will always get error if you don't provide it because still it doesn't know which one to provide right so you can see that it's still getting this error abstract same error that we are getting over here so this is the actual error that we are getting cannot provide without an add inject constructor or add provide annotation method so the same thing that we are getting actually and now if i provide this with the add the uh, database annotation over here and this each of the api key so add, add api key annotation now if i run this one then the, the arrow should probably go out because we have already let the dagger or the hilt know that which actually which binding that it's going to make use so here it's making use of the database name and here it's making use of the api key so when we are providing a same type over here this is the same type it may be of a string it may be of integer it may be a retrofit it may be your okay http client it may be a glide it may be a json so it may be an interface so any class you can provide it over here the written type each of the same when you have a written type of stuff each of the same dagger will look or the hilt will look into it and say okay so this is a written type of the string and here is also of this written type of the string so which one or which i'm which one i'm going to create a dependency which one i'm going to inject it so it doesn't know so we need to provide uh information using a qualifier to qualify it for which we are requesting so where to provide it so I hope you uh, understand it and uh, learn it something over here. And the next, we are also going to learn some more concept about the. Uh, I think we we'll go and see about the life component lifetime and the or uh, the scope. I think the scope is more relevant. So let's take a look uh, about the scope.